morning from Monarchs of Mannington. So this video is going to be kind of an instructional video, how to move chrysalises. So we're going to show you how I um, move chrysalises. There are many different ways to do it. For me, I find that I have far less casualties, almost no casualties if they've made it to this point. Number one is don't move them if you don't have to. The least we have to mess with our babies, the better. I know it's tempting, but really, I'm finding that as much as possible, I try not to move them. But I'm gonna show you for an example why I have to move them. Number one, when I, we're having so, so many caterpillars come in, I need space. So this is an example, actually this one's not too bad, of how close they are. And um, when I have another 50 in the container, I need space so that the others can uh, form a chrysalis, climbs can form, form a chrysalis, sorry. So number one, I always have a little spray bottle with me because the, the hardest part of the whole thing is getting a chrysalis with the silk attached. Now, it's not over if there's no silk. I've had them where there is no silk left. I can still do it. The only thing you can't do is if there's no stem. And then, you, as far as I know, unless you know something I don't know, you're done, okay, with that little guy. Um, number one, again, here, is you have to make sure they're at least a few days old. If they're not, you're going to go to touch it, and it's going to sink in. And chances are, it probably won't make it. Sometimes if it sinks in a little bit, I still let them go to see. Um, again, so if you don't have to move them, don't do it. This is when you have to move them, or, like our friend... One, a couple of them fell down. Still chrysalis hard and everything, but they fell down. That's another reason why you're gonna to wanna to hang it up. If you leave it down, chances are very good it's not gonna make it. When it emerges, it bends the wings and it's over. So what I do is keep my fingers a little moist, and this helps, um, if I can get this, this helps releasing the silk. So I just kind of rub around it, if you can see that. Just rub around it. That's the silk that's holding it. And I dry my fingers when I'm touching it. I do a little gentle touch. This one's hard, so I'm going to pull it off like this. See? All right. And normally what I do, but for the sake of time, I'm going to just do one. I do a bunch of them, and I lay them on a soft surface. I'm very careful with them. They're very fragile. I kind of twist the silk. I'm, I'm lucky enough to have it, but you see the stem. Even if there was no silk on this, there's still a stem. But if you get the silk, like I already said, you're golden. Then I take my cut piece of tin foil. I just cut them in small strips. This works best for me. I fold it, and I just kind of get it set up to press it together. It's already set up, because once you're dealing with the chrysalis, you don't want to be messing with it, okay? I take not even a whole dot, if you look carefully. It's just a smidgen of hot glue. If you do too much, it's not good, because then you're going to end up hitting it on the chrysalis. Then I stick the chrysalis there, Pinch it, let it sit. What I normally do is I'll do 10 or 15 of them, let them sit, so by the time I touch it again, you know it's dry. But this doesn't take long to dry, but I'm just gonna show. I'm not gonna hang it um, right away because you want everything to be dry. So now here we have, it's been sitting there, it's hardened. Then I get it ready to fold, okay? Then I take these little twist ties. You get them in, we got these at the Christmas tree shop. It comes in a spool, where is it over there? Anyway, you do, it's just the spool stuff. You use it in the garden, right? Probably Home Depot has it. I just cut them in pieces. This hook is just to hang it on my strings in the bathroom. And then what I do is I just, again, you gotta set it up because you can't be moving your hand once that hot glue is there. You end up, you can easily kill the chrysalis. So actually I take it over here on my little board. I have like a firmness to it. See, I even bend it a little bit. So it's naturally down, pressing into the tin foil. Again, just a tiny dot, nothing big, not even a whole dot if I can help it, hold on. Okay, just a tiny, and then I will fold it. And there you have it. I'll let this dry a little bit because I don't want anything funky happening. And then I hang it on my string. And again, when I'm hanging them, I don't want them too close because when they emerge, it's happened to me before, where they hit, their wing hits something and they're done. So that is our little video. If you have any questions or suggestions, just give us a little comment down there. And thank you for watching. Give us a thumbs up and uh, share the video. Okay?
Thanks so much for watching and God bless.